Independence Day. I'm wearing my red, my white, and we have our blue band. Yay! So this is all the equipment you will need today. If you don't have one of these, it's okay. We will make it work. Um, you don't have to use the band. You can use light weights or you can use no equipment at all. Just need a try attitude and a smiley face and let's get this party started. So I wanna check, everyone is muted, perfect. You can hear me okay, thumbs up. If you can hear the music, good, we are good to go. I don't want these on though, that'll make me dizzy. All right, so I want you to start off with your hip, your feet about hip width apart, and you're just gonna grab that band. Now, the great thing about the band is if it gets too hard, you don't have to stop. All you do is lengthen the arms instead of bringing them closer, okay? So the closer the hands are together with the band, the tighter it is, the harder it is. So what I want you to do is just take the band overhead, lengthening through your spine, spread your toes, and then just pull the band nice and wide and reach in the um, knuckles to each side and then release. So this is in front of you, okay? So you're gonna pull the band down, and release it. Now, as you're pulling, inhale, exhale, push your chest forward. So I'll give you a little bit of a side view. Push that chest out, your knees are slightly bent, and just pull. And then reach it up about um, a little bit over your head. You don't want it eye level, but you want it a little bit farther. Up in front of you, good. And you got the motion again, just inhale and exhale. Then we're gonna add a little shift. So I want you to shift a little to the right, come back up, and shift a little bit to the left, and come back up. Shift a little to the right, good. And shift a little to the left. So you're just shifting side to side, and each time it comes up center. And yes, we're moving kind of slow. That's okay, we'll speed it up. Pull in that band, and once again, if it feels easy, what do you do? You don't wait for Corey to tell you, call you out, you choke up on that band. And just shift, really start to actively use the glutes, pushing the weight into the hip. Your abs are tight, good. Hi, Jen, side to side. And other side, and shift, good. Keeping that knee, hip, and ankle in that alignment. Gosh, I'm already feeling my shoulders. Yesterday I had to teach a strong class instead of a cycle class and so my shoulders. You might see me skew you a little bit more and get close to that TV and see you guys. <laughs> side to side. Here we go. Good. And we'll do one more on the right and then one more on the left. Perfect. Now what I do want you to do is give me a little bit of a squat. So. Bring your palms um, down to the floor. Your knuckles are facing the camera. And I want you to extend out. And I want you to take that right arm and bend to where the knuckles are facing the camera. The elbow is still up and press it back out. Opposite side and press it back out. So you're holding the squat. And on that extension, when you lock that elbow, you are feeling the tricep. So what's happening at the legs? Keep going, guys. Side to side. Let me enlarge you guys and it's like why is everybody so small there we go <laughs> side to side and right side and left side good and right Woo! and you're holding that squat your shoulders are drawn down away from the ears yes we got it one more on the right and one more on the left now hold it here squat down a little bit lower press both out come all the way back up. Look at my elbows, they're still up, and yes, your shoulders are working. Press it out, and release. Push the hips back, and that band is coming around chest level, maybe around the collarbone. Push the hips back, reach both knuckles to the sidewall. Yes. Woo, I believe in miracles. <laughs> Press it out, that's it, Char, good. Can we get a little bit lower? I think we can. Down. Now remember, your heels are staying anchored. Warming up that heart rate. Push it out. If it gets too hard, your legs clear, your arms start shaking, 
Release the band like I just did, just a little. <laughs> Three, two, last one. Hold it down, hold the arms nice and long, right here, and just pulse the legs for eight, for seven, for six, for five, four, three, two. Holy crap, release. Just forward bend for a second. Oh, shake the hips side to side. I am already warm. It's gonna be a beautiful day. I'm gonna face you guys back forward. I want you to toe heel out into a plie. So remember on a plie, your tailbone's going straight down. Relax the bandage for a second. Take the tailbone down to the floor. Now look over your right and your left. Just make sure the knee is going in the same direction as the toe on both sides. If you see, I just turned my toes farther back, but my knee is still going this way. So I need to make sure that I put that alignment, okay? I don't want that, I want you to avoid that. And I don't want this. If I put my arm out, it's in that nice straight line. All right, so let's relax the arm for just a second and push down and squeeze up. As you push down, you're going as low as you can, okay? And you're keeping your knees soft as you come to the top. Press down, squeeze up. Shoulders are stacked over the hips. As they're drawn in, your chest is lifted. Come on. Oh, what's up with you guys? What is this? <laughs> this? This is not what we're doing. Down, squeeze up. Pinch the inner thighs. Squeeze them up. There we go. For eight. For seven. For six. So we got the leg. Five. We're going to add in the arm and keep this plie. Four. Three. Two. Take the arms overhead. Pull down behind you. Release. Pull down behind you. Release up. Down. And release that. Shoulders are away from the ears. Good. Now your tailbone's going straight down. Good morning, Lene. Spread the band. Beautiful. Pull. There we go. Eight. Woohoo. Seven. Six. You got it. Five. Knees are still soft at the top. Four. Oh, feel those shoulders. Feel that back. Two more, and last one, good, and come up. Now, as what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull and push, pull and push, here we go. Pull the elbows in, press it out. Push each hand to the sidewall. So keep in a soft knee on that plie, down, press it out, down, press it out. Drag the elbows behind, push them out. Yes. Now again, if I notice that it's easy for you and you want to modify today, good. But if you're going to have any barbecue, any celebration, tighten up on that band. Get lower with that plie. Pull it in, press it out. Pull it in, press it out. You've got it. For eight, for seven, woo, six, Feel the ball of the foot, feel the heel. Come on, John. <laughs> Four more. Down. Three. Yes, cinch it. Two. Hello, Kendall. And <laughs> one. And release. Take that band back forward. Take your toes and face them straight forward. You're still nice and wide, yes? Now, slight bend in the knees. You're going to hip hinge. So watch me for a moment. Because once you get this, I don't want you looking like this or straining your neck and looking forward. I want you to drop your chin. You grab, choke up on the band again. And you're just gonna take your arms wide, but you're squeezing the um, scapula blades together. So protraction and retraction. Arms hang down to the floor. Your abs have to stay tight. If you start to round, guys, I want you to stand up and just take a break. So I want you to push your hips back Pull the belly button in through the spine, looking down. Inhale, exhale. Pull long arms and release. Now, is your pinky going to the ceiling? 
Yes, it is. Thumb is to the floor. So this is the back of the shoulder, high part of the back. Gaze is down at the floor. Close the rib cage. Shorten the distance from the rib cage to the hips. If you need to, you can lift your chest a little bit more, but pushing the chest to the floor lengthens your spine. Gorgeous. You've got it. Pull. So the hip hinge, your knees are bent. You're pushing your weight into your heel. Come on, guys. Still working the hamstrings, guys. Work it. You have eight more. Eight. Seven. I love it. Six. Stay down, Brad. Yes. Five. Long spine, John. Four. Drop your chin to your chest. Three. Two. Now hold. And you're gonna go for those triceps again. So bend the right arm in, bend the left, extend the right, extend the left. Bend the right, bend the left, extend the right, extend the left. Keep going, hold. So this is still taking a lot of work. With, yes, you got it, Heidi. With your hamstrings, pull the abs in tight. Yes, you're using your core, gorgeous, guys. Four more, pull that right in. Last three more. Woohoo! Oh yes, I get the burner. <laughs> Ow! Try not to rush it. Shoulders are drawn away from the ear. Last one, both together for eight. Here we go. Both arms extend. Eight, seven, six. Nice, Heidi. Five. Good, Sandy. Four. Come on, Christine. Come on, Jen. Three, two, and one. And gorgeous. Now, unloop that band a little bit. You're going to take your feet wider. Give me that side lateral, okay? So it's just going to be a shift. Your feet are not going to move. But I want you to shift all your weight into your right side. Now, toe, knee, and hip, okay? And then you're just coming up to the other side. So it's a shift. And then other side, down and reach. Down to the floor, reach up to the left. Down to the floor, reach up to the left feely. And open up. A little bit of external rotation on the shoulder, a little bit of oblique work. Look at the floor, look at the ceiling. Shift and open. If it's too much, just give me that lateral shift. Yes, there we go. Or. Your gaze can stay at the floor. It's up to you. You can choke up on that band. Eight, seven, but you're working the glute need. Hip adductor, glute minimus, adductor. Three, two, and one. Side to side. Shift into the left, back to the right. Shift. Oh, yes. Four, you know where you're going. Three. Left arm is going to the ceiling. Here we go. Back. Open. Release. And open. Floor. Ceiling. And goes behind you. Now, a little bit of weight in your toes, but a lot of weight in the heel. A lot of weight into that hip. Excellent. No band. All good. Yes. Eight more. Eight. Beautiful team. Seven. Six. Like it, Jen. Come on, Naj. Five. That band is tight. Four. Woohoo. Three. Two. And one. Just the legs. Side to side. Shift. Shift. Check out your knee. Check out your toes. They are still facing the camera. Side right. Side left. Push. For eight, Ooh -hoo. seven, I like it, five, give me that smile, it's my birthday, and we're going to party, no, actually, we're going to work off this cake that I ate yesterday, <laughs> last one, and excellent, so thank you, John, made my favorite, an ice cream cake, Chocolate cake, vanilla ice cream, cookies in the ice cream, caramel, 
and then you put it in the freezer. Oh, it was better than any Baskin Robbins <laughs> cake that I've ever had. So thank you so much. All right, guys. So what I want you to do is take your feet about hip width apart, standing on the band. Now, when you're standing on the band, I want you to be able to pull and reach your arms to the ceiling. If that's too hard, then at some point you might not just use the band, you'll just set it down, okay? So the first thing I want you to do is make sure you're anchored into your heels and the ball of the foot, and you're gonna give me that squat with a forward thumb to the ceiling, shoulder height, and come all the way back up. Let's push it back and release. Beautiful. Reach the arms out. Yes, light dumbbells here will work as well. Push back and drive the hip forward. Push the hips back. Now squeeze the knees towards each other as you go a little bit lower into that squat. Oh, hello booty. Nice. If it's too much with the arms, just give me the squat. If you just want to do the arms, it's this. Otherwise, keep going, guys. You've got 15 seconds. Just giving you modifications, progressions, regressions. Yes. We can get five more here. Five. Four. Woohoo. Three. Two. And one. And release. Now, you're going to keep that left foot uh, on the band, anchored down, and then your right leg is going to come off a little bit. If you have a chair, because it's a full moon tonight, you need a little bit of balance, you can hold on to that chair, okay, with one hand. Otherwise, let's start the leg first. Take the left hand and anchor it to your hip, okay? The toe is facing straight forward. Shoulders are facing forward. Just press that foot out and release it part way back in. Now your job is to press it out as far as you can, but resist and come back in. Okay, so let's press it out for 10. Slow release. Hold it out there, nine, eight. Actively use the hip abductor. Feel it. Your standing leg is gonna be working. So we have to kind of block it out. You have three more. Soft knee on the standing left leg. Two more. And one. Now hold that leg out there. Bend the standing leg. Your opposite hand, the thumb is going to the ceiling. And then release back down. Now see how my band is tight? There's no loosey-goosey through the band. Elevate. This is a lateral raise. Longer arm is harder. Slight bend is a little bit easier. The foot is not moving. Here we go. Ten arms. Nine, spread your toes, abs are in tight. Eight, now how far do I come down to where that band is still tight? I'm resisting gravity. Six, love it. Five, <laughs> don't let your kids distract, distract you, Jen. <laughs> Three, come on, John. Two, thumb to ceiling, pinky to floor. Now we're going to add the leg with the arm. Yes, we can. Hey, get that leg up. Get it up, nice. Here we go. Press it. Ten. Holy crap, my standing leg. Nine. I'm with you. I'm watching you. Seven. Woohoo. Six. Oh. Five. Four. John, come on. Slow. Three. Resist. The foot never comes to the floor unless you have to. Two. Come on, Heidi. And last one. And release. Oh, my gosh. There's my standing leg. All right. So just that stabilization takes a lot of core, guys. You're going to anchor the opposite um, hand to the hip. And let's just do the leg here for a second. Okay? Or hang on the chair. Just press it out. Now remember, the toe and the knee are straight forward. Try not to lean so much into that right leg. Slight bend in the right leg, and the left side of the foot presses out. Let's do 10 more. 10, abs are in tight, nine, good, eight, shoulders are drawn down. Squeeze the Kegels, squeeze that belly button through to the spine. 
six, five, four, there we go, three, are you watching them? Two, don't distract me, and one, hold the leg, and here we go with the arm. Thumb to the ceiling, slight bend or not, and here we go, lift it up, and release partway down. Lift it up, your left leg is still off the ground. Here we go, 10, I like it. Nine, if you're going a lot higher than your shoulder, why? Choke up on the band. Seven, gorgeous. Six, five, yes. Four, three, your chest is still pushed towards the camera and your shoulders are drawn down. Last one, we're gonna put it together and this is time. Here we go, press out with the leg and the arm. So as we're doing this, you've got it perfect. I'm going to tell you a story why I had my cake yesterday. <laughs> so he wanted to bring it today. And I said, I have no classes tomorrow. I have two classes today. My thought is I eat it last night. I burn it off today. Now, I want to know after, you guys can comment, how many of you think that way? Or do you think I did two classes today? Now I can splurge a little and then eat a little bit more today. <laughs> My thought is I'd better burn it off because tomorrow with no classes, I will sit around with a sugar rush and not do anything and then I don't feel good. I feel like crap. Last five seconds. <laughs> oh, woo. Isn't that funny how we all think? Last one. And gorgeous. All right. So you're gonna anchor that uh, right leg in the band. We're gonna do some biceps and some triceps. Get down, Bobo. <laughs> I want you to choke up in the band because when you do, um, Bobo, you can't go there. Hey. <laughs> come here, come. Right here. Good boy. No, sit. <laughs> sit down. Sit. It's my birthday. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so choke up on the band. It's gonna be a bicep, yes? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna give me a reverse lunge. Woohoo! Oh, so you curl, reverse lunge, you come up. And two options. The progression is a kick or a knee lift with a tricep press back, okay? So this foot, goes back, curl, and either you come up with just a toe, press back, or a knee, and you press back, or a kick, and then you go right back into the reverse lunge. Yes or yes? So take your time with this. Make sure when the foot, if you're bringing it in front, it comes back through the band, back for that reverse lunge. All right, right foot is on the band, left leg is going behind, let's do it slow. Three. Two, and one. Reverse lunge, curl, come up, knee or kick, press back, long arm. Curl, press back. Now the kick is a little bit harder because it takes a lot more control through the core. Reverse, tricep, press back. So you're pressing your palms away from your body. Curl. Press back. I'm going to stay with the knee lift. Woo! Press back. Love it. 30 seconds, team. Press back. Bicep curl. Elbows stay down to the floor. Woo! That right hamstring and butt are working. Yes. Lift it. Low and controlled. Give me that hot flash. Second of deceleration. We can do one more. Curl and press. Beautiful. Don't get off of that band. <laughs> so I'm just going to switch and turn directions. Your right foot's still on the band. You're going to set that left foot behind. You're going to hip hinge. 
and you're just going to soften that standing right leg. Back leg is just a lift and lower, okay? So we're doing 10 with the leg, and then we're gonna take the arms. The leg goes first. Here we go. Chest to the floor, bend the right leg. Left leg nice and long. Look at the floor, point the toe, lift the heel to the ceiling, tap the toe for 10. Lift for nine. If you notice, I'm not tabletop. I'm like a ski slope. Here's six. If you want to hinge a little bit more over, you can. Four more. Three. Woohoo! Two. And one. Now, lightly set the toe. Now, your thumbs go to ceiling just here. So lift the arms for ten. For nine. For eight. That right leg is still working. Seven. Good. Long arm. Six. I love it, Brad. Gaze at the floor. Four. Oh, three. Two. Are you ready to put it together? Thumb to ceiling. Here we go. So lift the heel, lift the arm. Release down. Slow. Nine. Takes a lot of balance. Eight. But you can do it. Seven. Gorgeous. Six. I don't know about you guys, but my leg, standing leg, is screaming. But I remember the cake, how good it was. <laughs> Three more. Three. Two. Yes, you're going to give me eight pulses. Ready, go. Pulse it. Eight, seven, six, five. Yes, you can. Four, three, two, and one. Ow. <laughs> Ooh, do you see the Oreo right here? <laughs> I just mashed it out. <laughs> All right, nice work. Opposite leg. Let's put that left leg in the band. Uh, let me change this way. All right. So, you're going in. Hammer curl. Okay, when you go back, knee is still over the ankle. That ankle is, um, that heel is anchored. And then come up, knee lift, tricep press back. Or just a toe and press back. So guys, I saw some of you. Here's where your tricep. You're like right here. Push it back. Keep your abs in tight. Try not to hinge forward, but really push those arms behind you. I want to see that long head of that tricep. All right, we're going in five, two, four, three, two, reverse lunge, curl, knee lift, tricep press back. Reverse lunge, kick, tricep press back. Reverse lunge, toe tap. There's your three options. Use them that works best for your body. How does it feel today? It's all about respect, right? The great news is you get to work out today. The great news is you're here. You're doing it. Rest back. Curl. Can we reach that reverse lunge a little bit farther? Oh yeah. Hello. Curl, press back. Yes, we have less than 15 seconds, so we did these for one minute. And being from Missouri, I forget how to count. <laughs> I wanna focus on the cueing. Last one, guys. Reverse lunge, and perfect. Now, hip hinge. We're gonna do the arms first, and then we'll do the legs. So let that leg come down. Gaze is forward, abs are tight, long spine. Here we go, thumb to the ceiling. Reach it, release. Inhale, exhale, release. Inhale, exhale, thumb to ceiling, release. Push it wide. Push it out. Oh yeah, five more. Five, long spine, four. Come on, give me that hinge, three. Put the weight into that standing heel on the left leg. Last one, just the leg. So toe tap, nice and long behind you. 
Standing leg is bent. Lift and lower. Point the toe. Eight. Seven. I'm bad. Six. Five. No guilt. Four. Three. Two. Are you ready to put it together, team? Yes, you are. Here we go. Arms and legs for ten. Lift. Ten. Nine. Maybe the arms are too much. Set the band down. Release the band a little. Six more. Woohoo! Yep, maybe I missed one, Sandy. <laughs> Four. Three. Two. And one. And we're ready for the pulses. Here we go. For eight. Seven. Six. Five. I'm watching you. Four. Three. Two. And one. You. Great job. How are we doing? Can we get some water? It's a little hot in here. Sweating a little. You guys good? You look good. Now, we're going down to the floor for Jen's favorite. Oh. So, you're still using the band. I like my carpet when I do Pilates. Throw it down. So I want you to take the band, place it behind you. Now try to keep it nice and wide. If you don't have a band, it's okay. So you're gonna place the band around the right foot. Just the right leg. The other leg can be, the knee can be on the band if you like. You wanna flex your foot. And wanna flex your foot, make sure your toe is towards your shin, okay? Make sure the band is a little higher up towards the heel or it's nice and spread as so, okay? I wasn't showing you my butt there, I'm just showing you my heel. <laughs> you gotta wrap the band a couple times with your feet. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna place the band under my left knee because it's on my right foot. Feel free to come down to your elbows if you feel too much on your back. Either way, I want a nice long spine. Lift the rib cage up. So extend the leg straight out. Yes, and then bring the knee in and push it straight back. Now as you push back, if that doesn't feel like you're really engaging that glute, okay? The top part of the glute right here when you push back, then I want you to choke up on the band. You're in control. You are your own personal coach. And you're a good one. Your abs are drawn in. Spiral the elbows towards each other. Inhale. Exhale. Push it back. So this is the butt series. Woo. Push it back. Yes. Your toe is towards your shin. You're driving your heel straight back. And it's about hip level. Now, we're going to switch this up. And we're going to take the knee a little bit towards the other knee, we're gonna go a little diagonal. So I'm gonna actually go towards the camera. Not yet, so straight back. So this works a little more of the glute need, that little pop on the side of your booty. All right, so take your knee towards the other knee and let the foot externally rotate a little bit. See how it turns? But my other butt cheek didn't turn. Now I'm gonna kick towards the camera and then back in. So I'm not going straight this time. Are we ready? Three, two, press to the side and back in. So if we were pressing to six o'clock, 12 o'clock is where our head is. Now, if I'm, uh, I'm on my right side, so I'm pressing to five o'clock. So I'm right in front of that six o'clock. To the side with your heel. Yes. And again, you can come down here. Oh, and that stand, that kneeling leg is actively working. It's a beautiful thing. Push it back. Push it back. Holy cool. Oh, ah. Lift up through the rib cage, guys. You got it. Remember, ask yourself, is this so easy? That's just girl, Corey. This is stuff is just so easy. Guess what? <laughs> That's all on you. You can make it harder. You could actually put 
anchor weights on, right, John? Uh-huh. <laughs> yes. You got it. Last one. Beautiful. Now, long leg. You're still on the same leg. Tap the toe, lift it higher. Tap, lift it higher. Now, I'm going to go down on my elbows because I really want the top of that butt to pop. Abs are in tight. Tap the toe, lift the heel. You're not moving your spine. You're not moving your hips. Oh, goodness. If it's too much, take away the band and just do the leg. Yes. Yes, you can. Lift it. Lift it. Guys, you've got less than 30 seconds. And I don't know about you, but my kneeling butt cheek is on fire. I'm going to loosen this band just a little. Woo! Three. Come on, Heidi. Two. And now we're not done. I was just giving you a count. See? I told you I can't count. <laughs> Spike. Take. That's not fair, but it did help you for a second, didn't it? <laughs> Less than five seconds. Oh, three, two, and one. Bring the knee down. I want you to push back, knees apart, child's pose. Push into the hip that was kneeling. Oh my gosh. Thank you guys for doing these with me. <laughs> I love you for it. Woohoo! Oh, that was so good. God, you feel that stretch. All right. So I want you to come up back to the kneeling and fix that other band around the other foot. Your abs are in tight. Just reach behind right at the base of the heel. And then choke up on the band. I like to put it just because I got that extra support underneath the opposite knee. Wrap it a couple times. All right, wet in my eyes. It's my birthday and I'm on a party like it's my birthday. Oh my gosh, there's a big dump in my backyard. <laughs> I try to get those for you guys. All right, are we ready for the other side? So, nice and long through the leg. Pull it in, push it back. Pull it in, push it back. If it feels better to go down on your elbows, go down on the elbows. Come on, guys. But recognize. Remember, we want the booty, but sometimes we don't want to do the work. And just a little bit tighter on that band can make that big difference in that workload. Right? Always ask yourself, you know what? You're right. I could choke up on the band. I can make this a little harder. Why not? I'm here. It's a workout today. There we go, 30 seconds. So each one of these, and you have three, we're doing it for 30 seconds. This is only a 45 minute class, and boy, are you guys lucky. <laughs> Otherwise, we'd add on even more. We'd hunker down. Last 10 seconds. Straight back. Remember, your toe is towards your shin. Lift up through the rib cage. Yes, we're going to do one more. Perfect. Now, take it to the side a little bit. The knee comes in at an angle, and you press your heel to the side. Yes? So again, try to avoid shifting all the weight into the kneeling knee. Let's go. Press it out. Pull it in. Where am I feeling this? It should have changed to the little bit of the side of that butt cheek. Very important part to work. Now look at your elbows. Your elbows are slightly bent, but they're spiraled in together, or you're down on your elbows, which works as well, but you're still lengthening through your spine and your abs are still tight. Press it out. I like it, guys. You got the look. Woo! Oh! -ho. Yes, sir, yes. Come on, Lisa. So good. Come on, Lene. Five, four, three, two, and one. And you got it. Going back. So did we do the long leg? We did, right? 
So now we have to do the bend and push it back. Bend and push it back. Yep. All right. Oh. Are we ready? Three, two, and oh no. Bend and push it a little to the ceiling. Long leg and up. Look at you guys shaking your head. Long leg and higher. So I'm on my elbows. Time starts right now. Yeah, I want those extra ones. My left butt cheek doesn't seem to react as good as the right one. So tap the toe, lift the heel. Long leg. Tap it and lift. After this, guys, the good news is you're done with butt. And we do a little bit of core and we will be done. Yay! Lift. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, stop the clock. <laughs> keep going. You keep going. What's some extra? Yes, you can. Long leg. Push it. Ow. Oh, how high can you lift it without changing your hips? Hips are face on the floor. We got this, team. Ten seconds. Come on, Heidi. Eight. Seven. Six, did you know in Missouri we count slower? Five, four, <laughs> three, two, one, and release. Nice work. So, child's pose. Take the knees apart, shift the weight into the knee side, into that hip that was kneeling, and take the arms to the opposite side. Nice job. Oh. Good butt work, I like it. And excellent. All right, let's flip it over. We have about four minutes for abdominals. So let's use that band. Now I want you to go ahead and round down, lying on your back. I fix my earpiece a little bit. So lift the legs in the tabletop, lift that right, lift that leg. And I want you to spread your toes and put the band only around the leg that's closest to the camera, whatever one that is, okay? Now choke up on the band, okay? So the leg stays to the ceiling. Use the band to hip to um, crunch up and extend that mine is my left away from you, okay? So your arms are bent. If you don't want to use the band, you're just um, supporting your neck or your arms are reaching same direction as your feet. So you're going to inhale, exhale, crunch, and release down. So just give me 10 baby lifts for 10 and 9. You can choke up on the band, long arm, or you can bend and actively use your back to help you pull up. Six. Oh, yeah. Five. The leg that's long, reaching away, is floated off the floor. Three. Two. Now hold it up and bring the leg in and reach it forward for 10. You're holding the crunch for nine. Yes, you can. Eight, gorgeous. Seven, beautiful. Breathe through it. Six, five. Oh, yeah. Four, three, two. Hold that leg straight to the ceiling. The opposite leg goes long and back up, and you're still holding your crunch for eight. So the band leg, seven, is lengthening. Six. Five, oh, use it. Four, it's a good hamstring stretch. Three, two, and one, and release. Pull both knees into the chest. Switch that band to the opposite leg. So guys, remember, you can regress. You can release the band and support your neck. Please do so. Respect your body if that's what you need to do. Opposite leg is nice and long. Using the band. Crunch up and release back down. Inhale, exhale, crunch up and back down. We have eight more. Eight, yes. The leg is not moving. Neither leg is moving. You can also just put that leg on the floor and bend it, or you can float it off of the floor. We have four, yes. Three, nothing like finishing with some strong abs. Two, and you're gonna hold it up and remember to breathe. Leg that is not around the band, float it up for 10, for nine, for eight, for seven, yes, six, five, pull that belly button in, four, 
long, three, two, hold that leg up, and now the band leg for 10, for nine, use that band for your advantage, eight, seven, six, five, oh, four, three, two, and one, and bring the knees into the chest, take that band off, throw that band to the side, just hug your knees for a second, a little side to side. Good, and place the feet wider than hip width apart on the floor. Let both knees just fall towards the camera as you open up the hips. Whatever they fall to, whatever feels good for you, just relax the upper body. Draw the belly button in. You can reach down, bring the knees back center, and you're just gonna let them fall over to the other side. Yeah, feel that nice, gentle stretch. Your body feels good. You got that endorphin release. As far as I know, guys, this class is going to continue. So every Saturday at 9 a.m., please feel free to join me. I also teach a cycle class if you have a bike on your own at 10 a.m. I also have some strong classes I'm teaching during the week. You can join that are separate from Renaissance. They're just mine. And back to center. So I want you to bring your legs and table into um, almost tabletop. So you're going into happy baby. Just thread underneath. Grab the feet. Grab the shin. And just let the knees fall out to the side. Getting that natural position on your spine. And just hold it there. Take a deep breath in through the nose for five, four, three, two, and then exhale through the mouth, perch lips for like eight seconds. And one more nice deep inhale. If you want more videos like this, remember to subscribe, like below to my YouTube channel, Backyard Fitness by Corey. Let's take it to the side and then just pushing um, over, guys, we're going to go right into a downward dog. Palms are facing down on the floor. Curl your toes. Push the hips to the ceiling. Big inhale. You can bend the knees. Walk the right hand in. Walk the left. Walk the right. Walk the left. And slowly, one vertebrae at a time. Start to stack. Coming up. Slowly. One vertebrae at a time, coming all the way to the top. Big inhale, 